In the previous video in this series, we learned how to add a new post to our WordPress powered website. In this video, we'll take a look at how to edit existing posts. In the All Posts subpanel, you'll find a list of all your posts, which you can sort by title or by date. If you have a large number of posts, you can use the pagination tools to view additional posts or quickly search for specific posts to edit. In the Screen Options tab, you can change the number of posts that are shown on a single page and choose which columns to display. Hovering over any row in the list will display action links that allow you to edit, delete, or view your post. Quick Edit is a handy inline editing tool which allows you to update the details for an individual post, change the title, the permalink or slug, and edit the date and timestamp for the post. Choose a future date if you'd like this post to be automatically published at a specific date and time, or you can choose a date in the past to backdate posts. You can also add a password to make the post only visible to readers who first enter the selected password, or make the post private, only visible to you and the other site admins. You can change the categories in which this post will appear and add tags, enable or disable comments and pingbacks, which we'll cover in a later video, or change the status of the post. Checking Make This Post Sticky will force this post to stay at the top of your chronological list of articles on your blog page, even after you create new blog posts. Remember to click the Update button to apply any changes you've made here. Now, while Quick Edit is a handy way to edit the details of a post, to edit the actual content of a post, simply click the Edit link to bring up the post in the editor, which we reviewed in the previous video. Make your changes, then click the Update button to save your changes to this post. You can also edit multiple posts at once. First, select the post you wish to edit using the check boxes. Then select Edit from the Bulk Actions drop-down menu and click Apply. You can change the metadata, the categories, tags, author, and other parameters for all the selected posts at once. To remove a post from the group, just click the X next to its name in the Bulk Edit list. Again, don't forget to click Update to save your changes. You can also delete posts by clicking the Trash link. And if you've ever accidentally deleted a file, then you'll appreciate that this function simply moves the post to the trash, where it can be recovered anytime within the next 30 days. Click the Trash link at the top of the page to view all the items that are currently in the trash, restore them, or delete them permanently. So far, we've learned how to create and edit posts. In the next video, we'll learn how to use categories and tags to organize our posts, making it easy for our readers to find related content.